Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about something very special. <sighs> I robbed this store. Nah, I'm just kidding. Polaroid cameras are in here. Yep, that's right. Polaroid cameras. And not no Instax. No, no, no. Name brand Polaroid cameras. Let me show you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna suck up that Polaroid smell. <coughs> Guys, it's literally a whole bunch of Polaroid cameras. Like, like actual Polaroid cameras. So, uh, yeah. Like, like, yeah, I'm just gonna... Ready, already. Which one should I take out first? Uh-oh. <coughs> oh, okay. You're just gonna shot like that. Okay. Well, uh... It's a Polaroid One Step Autofocus. I've actually used this in the past. These aren't all my pictures, but they're just some of them that I used. I'm gonna give you a little step-by-step -step instruction on how to use them. So first, I'm gonna tell you guys how to install the cartridge of film. So first, you're gonna look for right there. You see that? You're gonna just pull that forward. And then it's gonna open that latch. And uh, right here is... Uh, the rollers, that's the rollers. You guys should clean them monthly to make sure that there's no gunk from the stuff from the film on there. And it gets them jammed and stuff. Ugh, it's so nasty. And make sure you guys are using the right type of film. Point six hundred film. Um, don't use any other film. Okay? Okay. So with these type of Polaroids, you can always see... What type of film you're using with well, all of, most type of polaroids you can always see the type of film you need right there it's on the sticker always most times most ways so then i don't have any film but when you load it up in there sticker side first and make sure to put it also um so the sticker should be showing right here so you can just pull it out when you're done and also make sure that the film is facing upwards and not downwards so then you're gonna close it and then there should be a cardboard tab that just comes out. You're going to need that. Yep. No, you're not. I'm just kidding. You can throw that away if you want. But then you're going to want to open it. And you're going to hear like... You're going to wait for this green light right here to start. That's when it's charging up. It's charging. Don't mess with it. So then after like 30 seconds, it's going to be ready. Um, look through the viewfinder right here. Finder. Yep. You can see me. Hey, baby. Uh, you're going to look through the viewfinder, see your picture target, and just click it. And be aware, because this flash, very, very bright. Also, it auto-focuses, so you don't have to do anything. But this flash is very bright, so it's going to blind you for a couple seconds there. Also, adjust, like, the light, the brightness level. This is, like, mediocre, dark, and then all the way to that side is light. Yep, yep. Uh, yep, okay. To know how much film you have left, look through this little window. It's gonna say 10, <clears throat> but the film actually comes with 8. So just subtract it by 2. Every time you see through that little window, just subtract it by 2, and you'll know. You'll know. It's not that big of a problem. A very pre pretty heavy piece of tech. Like, I would not suggest you do this. Like, don't, don't. <laughs> but yeah, after you finish taking the picture, this light should go back off. Wait for it to turn green again, and then boom, you're ready to take another picture. You got you, you got it all good. You're Gucci. You know, usually, when I ask someone to take a picture for me, they don't know what button to click. First off, you have to open this in order to actually click it down, because if you don't, it's going to stop it from clicking all the way. So you got to open this, and then you see this button right here? You can either do that. It doesn't really matter. You just pull back, and then boom, you took a picture. Good job, buddy. So next up, we have a little bit of a difficult camera. Because they don't make film for this camera anymore. But if they did make film, I could tell you how to use it. Um, it's very different from this one. Because, uh, just look at it. And you might be like, Johnny, how do you take the picture? Well, first off, you're going to have to turn it on this side. And you see that little switch right there? Just click it, and then, boom! <laughs> and to put it back down, you just have to click all the way back and just... Boom, that's all you have to do. But first, let's read off the manual, shall we? So this right here is the Spectra 2. 
it uh, no longer has film being produced for it, but I think there's an adapter for 600 film that you can use on it. I don't, I don't know, but it was usually used for wide, um, more wider pictures, like very wide, bigger pictures. So yeah, we're gonna read from the manual. I got both of these for fifteen dollars plus this case altogether fifteen dollars. Yeah, thank you, Oldsmar Flea Market. First, we're gonna talk about the front. This is a sonar refractor so basically it sends out sound waves to measure like how far your subject is so like let's say you're nine centimeters it's going to send out a little sound wave that goes to your subject and bounces back and it calculates like how far they are so i guess it's an autofocus thing i don't really know but right next to it is the lens it's a 125 millimeter lens and uh you don't want to block that because that's what take this big that that that's what takes the picture so don't, don't do this and be like, <laughs> no, don't, stop, just stop. So right here is a photo cell silicon, I think, I don't know. The manual says something about photodites. Um, yeah, it measures the lights from scenes, um, yeah, and from flash and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it just measures stuff, that, 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 that's it. So right under it, so you know how on this camera, right? Right, right here, right, right this is basically just that. You look out of that to take the picture, yeah. That, that, that's a, that's what it is. You guys can look through it. Here, here you go, buddy. Here you go. I know you've been dying to look through it, huh? It's kind of hard to get that perfect angle, but oh my gosh, I gotta get that perfect, perfect, perfect angle. Hey, 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 y'all. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry guys, I'll stop. And right here is the flash. The flash, it's, I don't know, I haven't used it. I don't know if it's bright, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a flash. I mean, that, that's, that, that's it. Yeah, that's, and right here, uh, not up here, right down here, you see that little, that little piece of paper right there? That's not paper. That's something that covers the Polaroid film to protect it from the light while it's coming out because it could damage the film. And this whole area right here is for the film to actually pop out so you can just grab it. Don't do this, guys. This is not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to put it upside down so it doesn't hit any light because the light could hurt it. And leave it there for like 15 to 20 minutes and you'll be good. You'll be good. Right here, this whole bottom part is actually the film door. And if you look to the side, there's a little ejector that does that. And it opens it up. And this right here is the inside. It kind of looks like the Polaroid 600 uh, land camera thingy, guys. It kind of looks like this one, but not really. See? Except for this one doesn't use sonar. This one does. And um, right here, it uses a discontinued type of film. The... Um, uh, I forgot what it's called. The Spectra System type film. And it's been discontinued since 2016, but I searched it up and there might be some like fixes to that. You guys, you guys know, you guys know. Yeah, there might be some adapters for that. To the side, there's a strap and the button to actually like close and open the top to protect it from, I don't know. Crap, it's so hard to close and open. Jesus. And then boom, you just have to hear that like mouse click kind of when it open when it closes, I mean. Yeah, and then this is, like, the, the cover for the zoom finder. So, like, you know, you just got to put your eye up to it like this. Oh, my gosh. Hey, guys. And boom. You can see straight through it. Unless it's closed, then you can't. You can't. I couldn't see anything. But, uh, yeah. So, you're supposed to take the picture like this. Well, it's closed. You're supposed to take the picture. Yeah. Open it and then take the picture like this. Look through it. And then chase cheese. Boom. And then you click it. But, uh, yeah. Doesn't have any film. They discontinued it in 2019 look at the back you see the viewfinder and this is the thing that again that you look through again i told you guys about this guys stop 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 yelling at me stop yelling at me guys okay i'm sorry i'll, I'll stop so yeah this is the zoom finder you just gotta look through that and uh i mean not the zoom finder the viewfinder you gotta look through that and you'll see the picture that you're gonna take and make sure you look through it Yay! next you have the control panel so this it's basically like kind of like what I showed you right here. This is just that, but more less sophisticated actually, because it tells you everything it does. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is the shutter button. 
So uh, basically you click this to actually take the picture. You press it halfway to restore the green light. If you press and hold down, you actually delay when the picture comes out. This right here is a green light indicator for like when the flash recharges. It's kind of like with the green light I showed you on this Polaroid. Um, if it's green, that means you're all good to take the picture. But if it's not, don't take it yet. And this is the countdown for how many pictures you have left. Uh, I don't know when this thing was used, but um, yeah, this is a countdown for how many pictures you have left. Again, it's going to sell you 10 because back then when these things first came out, it had 10 pictures instead of 8. And now we have 8 instead of 10. So just subtract it by 2, it'll be fine. It's not that bad. Now I'm going to tell you how to use this monstrosity. First, all you have to do is slide the release um, latch backwards and it'll open automatically. Again, to close the camera, you just have to boom and then it's closed. You know, wait for the click. If you hear the click, then it's closed. I'm actually gonna wait for this to pop on. So basically, if you look through here, um, right here, you just check that, you know, check it, make sure it's green. If it's green, that means it's good to take a picture. And also you're gonna wanna check your controls just to make sure they're good. So like, if go up for light, go dark for down, go center for neutral. And then right here, check how much film you have left. It's a, if it's on zero, don't take no more pictures because you don't have any more. But if it's on 10, you're good. You have full eight pictures. Now, if it is on zero and you have to replace the film, what you're going to want to do is there's the latch. You're going to want to click down this latch and wait for this to open. Then you're going to grab your um, Spectra system film and put it in there. Then you're going to close it. And I think some paper on the front might come out. I don't know. But yeah. Then you're gonna wait for this light to turn green and then you're good. And the pictures are best taken when the person is three to five feet away from the camera. Um, yeah, I'm just saying that because you guys might be like, <laughs> clicking and taking pictures. No. All right, guys, so you see this strap right here? For the next step, you're gonna wanna slide your hand over into the strap and just do this while your other hand is holding this shutter button right here. Then you just do this and click, boom, take a picture. The reason you want to do this is so that you know, like, where you're going to take the picture, you know. Make sure if they're outside or inside, they at least stay 3 to 15 feet away from the camera. That's, like, the best time to take the picture. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, next camera, I guess. So, there's still a lot more stuff, but uh, I don't care. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Oh, that scared me. I'm sorry, Mom. It's my mom. Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Okay, so basically, is a Polaroid go. She's making cookies. You want some? No, you don't? Okay. She's making cookies. Okay, so basically, is a Polaroid go. Uh, this one's actually rechargeable. You have to charge it to take pictures. The film doesn't come with a battery. The film doesn't come with a battery. So uh, basically, how you re change the fill is you have to see this button, you gotta slide it, boom, you put the film in there, and then you're done. You have to take the Polaroid Go film. That's what you have to put in there, it's because it's very tiny. Um, so right here, there's the flash uh, with like the different mode stuff. I didn't really look into this. Uh, this is the, the actual lens, and this is the viewfinder. So you guys can look, you guys can look, do that if you want. Yeah, hey, hi. Well, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, and then if you look at the top, you have the shutter button and the flash. And then at the back, you have the power button, the flash indicator. You just gotta, oh, you gotta click the power button, and then you'll see that turn off. Turn on, you have the flash indicator and how, many, how much foam you have left, and the viewfinder. And you could put a lanyard up to it, but I took mine off for some reason. I don't know, don't judge me. Okay, I don't like you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. And uh, yeah, that that's 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 for the side, the back. It is for the side. You have a uh, micro USB instead of USB C. Why? I'm done. So yeah. So basically, you just hold it like this with your thumbs. Um, they call it on the video, or the official Polaroid video, they call this the belly and this is like the top of it so you put your thumbs right there and you just well it's supposed to be with one hand and you look through the viewfinder 
and you just click it. But if you don't have any film, oh, if you don't have any film, it's just gonna blink. So you tap the lighting button once to turn it off. So if that dot is there, that means the lighting's on. Uh, the flash is on. If you tap it again, the flash is off. And if you hold it down, there's this light that goes off. That's a timer, and then you click it, and the timer will go off. But I don't have any film. So yeah. Yeah, guys. This also, one last thing. This indicates if it's charging or not. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't have one of those things where you're like, where it shows you if you can take a picture or not. It just, it's just like, hey, go ahead. I don't care. So yeah, guys. It's going to be the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.